Hi everybody and happy Thanksgiving if you are practicing this in the US. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then happy Thursday and welcome to the Mindful Dancers channel. My name is Karen and for today's video, we are going to be focusing on gratitude and thankfulness in the spirit of Thanksgiving. This video will be going out on Thanksgiving Day. Um, so go ahead and put on something comfy and let's go ahead and get started. feels good to you today. So maybe you start cross-legged here like I am, or if you'd like to sit up on a block, you can do so as that as well. You can also sit on a chair if you'd like. And then once you get settled into your seat, go ahead and start to let the eyes fall close here. And then feel a sense of grounding into the mat. Feel your sits bones ground into the earth below. Shoulders melt away from the ears. And then hands just resting wherever feels good to you today. And crown of the head reaches for the sky. Allow your heart to radiate to the front of the room wherever you're practicing. So our focus for today's practice is on gratitude. So if it is Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is usually a time for family, a time of giving thanks for either your family or just for the life that you have today. Finding gratitude for the opportunity to show up on your mat today. For, and gratitude for all the good things that have happened in your life so far, or even challenges. Maybe you find gratitude in the challenges that have helped you grow. I know as dancers, we struggle with a lot of challenges throughout our career, or if you're a pre-professional, maybe you have challenge, your challenges throughout your dance classes. So just take this opportunity to give yourself permission to rest. You're either on Thanksgiving break, We find the opportunity to be still, and to just be present with our breath today, and today we're just going to give thanks for the opportunity to move our bodies today. So we'll start by taking a deep inhale in through the nose, and a deep exhale out. And we'll do two more rounds like that. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And a deep exhale out. And then one more deep inhale in through the nose. And a deep exhale out. Notice how you feel. Notice where your mind is at today. How's your body feeling? If you feel like your mind is buzzing around with thoughts, know that it's okay. This makes us human. But 
I invite you to bring yourself into this focus of gratitude. And the question that I ask you guys today is, what are you grateful for today? And this could be your intention for your practice today. So maybe you start off with, I am grateful for, and then you can fill in the blank here. Or I find gratitude in, and you can fill out the blank. So you can ponder that silently in your mind. What are you grateful for today? Or if it's Thanksgiving, if you're practicing this on Thanksgiving, what are you thankful for today? While you are meditating on the things that you're grateful for, continue to deepen your breath. Noticing the temperature and texture of air, the sound of your breath, the coolness and the warmth as you breathe in and out. And we'll just take a couple more breaths here just to meditate, to ponder on this beautiful day, whether it's Thanksgiving or whether you're practicing this on another day. What are you grateful for today? And if the eyes are closed, we'll go ahead and flutter them open. And then we'll make our way into all fours. And you'll take your time to get here. Now there's no rush to make it to one posture than the other. You have all the time in the world. Let's go straight down my mat here. And once you're in all fours, we're just going to take a big inhale in through the nose. And then as you exhale, we're going to sink our hips towards our heels and come into a child's pose, allowing the forehead and the heart to rest onto the mat. Let your arms grow heavy. And let your hips grow even heavier. Taking this moment as a moment of gratitude for the fact that you made it to your mat today. The hard part is over. You started the video, you made it to your mat, and now we've arrived. Let's bring our attention to the sound of our breath. Listening to the ocean sound of your breath. And we'll take a couple more breaths here. here, inhale, lowering the belly towards the mat, and then exhale, navel draws up to the spine. Inhale, belly lowers, maybe you let your eyes fall closed here, tuning into the sensations with your body, exhale, navel draws up. 
Go ahead and keep this going on your own for just a couple breaths. And then we'll go ahead and meet in a tabletop position when you are ready. From here, we're gonna inhale, reach the right leg out long behind you here. Lifting the right leg up, we dial our right toes down towards the mat and we're left le or lifting, excuse me, from the right inner thigh. Notice if you are dumping your weight into one side, we have a tendency to dump our weight into the left side. Go ahead and shift yourself so that you have equal weight in both hands. Now you have the option to stay here if you're working on strengthening your core, or we can reach the left arm out long, almost like you're shaking somebody's hand here. Now we're just gonna stay here for a couple breaths. So we're turning on the core, we're turning on the right hamstring, then we take one more inhale in and then exhale, bring yourself back to tabletop position. From here, go ahead and extend the left leg out long and then lifting from the left inner thigh, our left toes will dial down to the mat. We bring our belly button in towards the spine and then notice if you're shifting weight into one side. And then you can stay here or we'll reach the, we'll reach the right arm out long. And we'll take one more inhale in. And then exhale, bring yourself back to tabletop position. We'll go ahead and we'll curl the toes under. Walk the hands out in front of you and we'll send our hips up to the sky. As we come into our downward facing dog. You can take a few pedals out of the feet here. And then from here, we'll slightly bend the knees, bring your gaze to the top of the mat. We'll take a walk up to the front. As we come into a nice forward fold here, you can generously bend the knees here if that feels best to you today. And just allow the back of the head to be heavy. Maybe you grab the elbows and sway from side to side. Nice soft knees, letting gravity stretch the backs of the legs. And we'll release the elbows and we'll inhale halfway lift. We take a long spine, a long neck here, and then exhale, we'll release everything down. Good, from here we'll bend the knees, we'll roll up through the spine and go nice and slow here, one vertebrae at a time. Do like a little massage for the spine as we come up to standing. We'll take a little mountain pose. We'll go ahead and bring the hands to the heart. Grounding into a sense of gratitude. Maybe you've come back to those things that you're grateful for. Maybe that's your intention. Maybe you'd like to choose a new intention. As we feel the sensation of the palms pressing together at your heart. Feel a sense of grounding into the feet. And when you're ready, ready, we'll inhale, reach for the sky, take a big stretch here. Exhale, we dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, long neck here. And then exhale, release, plant your hands. We'll inhale, step the right foot back, then the left foot back into a nice strong plank here, we'll be here for long. And then exhale, lower halfway. We'll scoop up, come into an upward facing dog, really press away from the yoga mat here, and then send your hips up, downward facing dog. In down dog, we'll inhale, lift the right leg up high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. 
So we come to a runner's lunge, we'll lower the back knee down. And then we'll inhale, scoop the arms up overhead and we come into a nice low lunge. So when we're in our low lunge here, we want our front knee over the front ankle. We want to pull the right hip crease back as we bring the left hip slightly forward. Reaching the arms up overhead, or maybe you feel comfortable just pressing the hands into the front of the knee here. We'll take one more inhale in. Everybody bring the arms up overhead, right hand will grab the left wrist. We're going to stretch over to the right side, feeling an opening in the front of the hip. And take one more inhale in. Exhale, bring yourself back to center. We'll plant both hands into the mat. Lift the back knee up. Then we'll inhale, step back to a high plank. And then we'll exhale. Maybe you take a flow here or we'll meet in downward facing dog. In down dog, we'll inhale, lift the left leg up high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Coming into our nice runner's lunge, we'll lower the back knee down. And then we'll inhale, scoop the arms up overhead, low lunge. Front knee over the front ankle. And we're pulling the left hip crease back as we bring the right hip slightly forward. Breathing into the stretch. And then you have the option to stay here or left hand will grab the right wrist. Think up and over as you stretch over towards the left side. And take one more inhale in. Exhale, come back to center. Plant both hands. We'll lift the back knee up. And inhale, step back to a high plank. And then you can move through a vinyasa here, or we'll just take it to downward facing dog. Good. From here, we'll go ahead and lower the knees down. And then from here, go ahead and walk the knees back a little bit. And we're going to lower all the way to the belly. And then from here, we're going to come onto the forearms. And we're going to take a sphinx pose here. So in a sphinx pose, we're still pressing away from the yoga mat, so we're not collapsing into the shoulders. You want your elbow in line with your shoulder. And you have the option to bring the legs together or maybe you keep the legs in line with the hips. And if this is too much pressure, on the low back, you can always come into a little baby cobra. We'll take one more inhale and exhale. Go ahead and lower the upper body down. And we're going to rest our forehead onto our hands here. We're just going to take a little rest here. Coming back to the sound of our breath. You can even bend the knees here, do a little windshield wiper, rock the hips. Just take a couple more breaths here. And 
can go ahead and bring the hands underneath. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip our bodies to lie down on our backs. So once we get down to the ground, we're gonna hug both knees into the chest. Give a nice big hug here. Stretching out the low back here. I'm just giving thanks for showing up to your mat today to move your body. Maybe you rock from side to side. Draw a few circles with the knees if you want. And then from here, we'll extend the arms out long into a T. And we're gonna let our knees fall over towards the left side. So we take a little supine twist here, or a double leg twist. And maybe you bring your gaze over towards the right hand. You wanna draw your right shoulder towards the mat. One more inhale in, exhale, bring the knees back to center. And we'll take them to the other side here. Allowing the knees to fall over to the other side. And then maybe you turn over towards the left hand. You want a deeper twist. And take one more inhale in. We'll exhale, bring the legs back to center. And then we'll prepare for our Shavasana. With the legs extended out long. Arms resting at your sides. Or maybe you want to place one hand on your belly and the other on your heart. Taking this opportunity to notice how you feel. Letting the whole weight of your body rest into the earth. Once again, giving thanks for showing up for yourself today. everybody for joining me for your practice today and if you liked this practice make sure you give it a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below writing down three things that you are grateful for today I want you all a happy Thanksgiving if you're practicing this on Thanksgiving or if you don't celebrate it I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day. We'll go ahead and bring the hands to the third eye, to the center of our forehead. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste, everybody.